good morning so it has been almost four years since i have traveled to nusa panita we've just arrived here this morning on a ferry boat that took us roughly about an hour from bali from sonor um cost of that was about 300k idr for two of us 100k for Catania, 200k for foreigners unfortunately we picked up a motorbike on the way at the beach that was 50k per day so we've arrived here at an amazing luxury hotel here the first of its kind here in Nusa Penida and we're gonna take you guys around and show you what it's like so the hotel that we're staying at is Mawa we're staying here for the next two nights and as soon as you open the door to this place it is pretty much jaw-dropping there's nothing like this in Nusa Penida or at least hasn't been for the last four years this island is massively developing and uh, this is the first of its kind luxury hotel here developed by none other than Swiss Bell Hotel. So the first area that you see as soon as you enter the villa is the living room area. It's got a comfortable seating area as well as two chairs to look at over the stunning view. You've got sunrise and sunset to see from this villa. It's, that's something super unique. Um, you've got a mini bar right here behind me. You've got coffee machine, snacks, and this place is just so beautifully decorated. I love the design of this place. It just absolutely fits Nusa Panita. So let me take you guys through the hallway. What immediately shocked me is the, the way that they have hidden the bathroom in here. So this is the bedroom here. You've got a queen size bed overlooking the most stunning views of Nusa Panita here. Got two sound loungers right in front as well as a beautiful infinity pool. Got a wardrobe area here. Got a nice beach bag with some towels. Love the design on here. Look at this. Down here we have some storage space for all your luggage. Here is your safe and down below that is going to be sandals and the laundry back down there. Now you're wondering where is the shower? You saw the toilet but where is the shower? And well let me show you really quick and that is because this is an outdoor shower guys. I mean I've never seen a more beautiful shower than this. So what they've done is they have brought the shower and the sink area all outside. You've got plugs out here, you've got this beautiful sink huge mirror soap your toiletries in here included i mean look at the shower guys wow and you've got your soap your conditioner all of that right there overlooking the bay here in nusa panita so we've changed out to something a little more cooler because it's getting really hot out let's go ahead upstairs though and show you guys what the lobby looks like what the pool looks like as well as the dining area because it's got a really beautiful view overlooking this huge valley uh, right down below the hotel. All right guys, and here you have the restaurant. So you can come down here to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you can have breakfast actually brought out to your villa. And just as anywhere else in this beautiful hotel, you have an amazing, stunning view. As you guys can see, our bike has actually changed. Uh, as we were coming up here, the bike was actually a bit dangerous to be honest for 50k there the brakes weren't working very well and if you know Nusa Panita by any means the roads are quite horrendous if you get off the main road at least so uh, we had to upgrade to the NMAX much better suspension much better braking system uh, so I would actually recommend you get a big bike if you're coming to Nusa Panita because you're pretty much off-roading and this one costs 100k a day All right guys, we took about an hour drive down here, actually up to the other side of the island. And we are now heading out to Diamond Beach actually, as well as uh, Atu Beach, which is right below as well. This is far more beautiful than in the photos. Way more beautiful than in the photos and also dangerous walking down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is much better. Like this. Then clean clean. Then with um then Oh with then with shoes. Yeah. Wait for me? Yeah. There you go. The rest of the way is actually looks easy. It's just this part.
We made it to the very bottom of Diamond Beach, guys. It was a struggle to get down here at the very last couple steps because you actually have to basically rock climb with the rope. Uh, so it's pretty difficult. Don't bring too many bags uh, or you're gonna have a trouble coming down here. I'm very impressed with Catania. She's afraid of heights and she actually came down here. So, but this place is just pristine, so beautiful, especially on a sunny day like this right now. We got lucky because it was uh, very cloudy and very dark on the way here. This beach definitely does live up to the hype as everybody has mentioned. There's obviously a lot of tourists coming down the steps. Most of them don't make it all the way down because of how steep it is at the very end. Oh my god! Which makes it for a better experience to be honest. And most of them are actually doing a, a full day tour so they're going to be leaving in like 30 minutes usually. <laughs> All right guys, now we have the hard and difficult job to rock climb back up, which I think is much harder than it is coming down. It's a good thing I'm skinny. Wow. Not for everybody, but we made it here. And one more thing for you guys, if you guys do want to get drinks here, um, or go on the swing, you can. I don't know the cost of the but it can't be too bad. Um, so if you do get thirsty, you can come and get drinks here. Don't bring anything down. Don't bring too much, honestly. It's gonna be really dangerous if you bring too many bags. A backpack is just enough. So this area is actually a two bedroom villa that they have reconverted into a spa area because the spa is actually being finished. But that should be finished in about a month they said. So by the time you guys get here, the spa will be finished and hopefully the gym as well. But this is what a two bedroom villa looks like if you guys want to rent out a two bedroom. One of them is available here. Unfortunately, I have the pleasure of being the videographer and not the uh, <laughs> not the model today. All right, guys. Good morning. It is our last day here at Mawa in Nusa Penida. So sad to be leaving here, man. We had such a great time here, and the place is just absolutely beautiful. Stunning views all around here. And the staff has just been so kind and so friendly. So if you guys do come to Nusa Panita, this is a really great spot to come and hang out and come stay here. Man, really gonna be missing it here. Four years later after coming to Nusa Panita, this has been the best time. So this is gonna be the end of our journey here at Mawa. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment down below any questions about coming here to Nusa Panita. I'll be happy to answer them and I'll see you guys in the next video here in Nusa Panita. Peace.